Hello and welcome back. So, uh, today I reached in the bucket I got from Bronx Ox Picker 60 because I have one more challenge lock. This is the last one uh, he sent me. It's a quick set um, penned by Bronx Ox Picker 60. Um, I thought I'd put it in the vise and see what we have here. Um, I'll take that off, I think. There we go. And. Uh, Let's see what we can do with this. Uh, no key with this one, but <laughs> it kind of works out because this is a uh, lock picking video, not a key turning video. So, <laughs> um, should be able to put it in my vice. Here. Uh, of course, it's that funky style quick set, so it's probably going to have to go like that. There we go. And um, see if I can get my 50 to work in that. I normally use in a quick set. Um, no. Well, I guess I could probably go down here. Let's see if I can do that. I might be robbing myself. I'm gonna be robbing myself of space. Let's uh let's do this instead. That'll work. And uh quick set. Usually use my gem. I can do that. And it should work. Okay. Let's uh, zoom in for you guys. That way you can see any kind of movement I get on the core. And, uh, there we go. We'll go very light tension on it. Start in the back of the lock as I normally would. And search for a binder. Okay, got something off a three there, I think. A small click. Four. I got a little rotation on the core. Counter on four. Okay, got a click out of him. Three is giving me counter. Okay, I think I got him. Hmm, that was five. Didn't like the feel of it, though. Okay, I was getting counter on three, but I lost everything off of him. Two gave me a click. And one gave me another click and a rotation on the core. Okay, I'm going counter. I click and lost my false set again. And the only one that's bound is four. Okay, I think I just got him. Three, got a click out of him. Okay, I think that's two. Okay, I got a click out of him, but I lost my false set. Five is bound again. Four. Three. Wow. Two is giving me counter, but then when I go to set him, it goes mushy. Uh, I'm going to try something deeper. I'm going to try my DeForest Diamond. See if I'm missing something there. Yep, five had some counter there. I think I just got to click on him. Okay. 
Okay, one is solid, two is solid. Three gave me a click. Not a very pleasant one, though. Ah, I think I just overset. Back off a bit. Tricky lock. That was two. And he was nasty. Something's going on with two. Counter. Major counter here. Wow. Can't do it with this tension wrench. Okay, five is now down. Okay, I got a click out of him, but I think I may have overset. Okay, I got three. Four just gave me a little bit more. Okay, three gave me counter and a click, but then I lost everything here. I lost the feeling, so evidently it's not done. Hmm. Okay. Start with four and three. Holy crap! Good luck, man. Um, don't know, don't have any idea what's inside this, but that was uh, that was crazy. Um, let's uh, open this up and see what we had there. Um, interesting feeling. I, I felt like there was something hanging up in two um, or three. It was it was somewhere there in the middle. Um, let's uh, let's open this up and see what we had here, man. This is uh. Got me curious as to what you put in this. <laughs> it's a good little, good little fighter there. Um, let's see here. I got a clip on the back. That should work for my quick set. Uh, grab a screwdriver, and I don't have a key, so I have to be careful not to lock this back up. Um, it's got that E clip on it. Oh, come on. You know what? I'm gonna put a pick in it. Keep it from turning. There we go. Got the e clip off. Um, of course, I am gonna shim this because I am dying. I know I had a at least one T pin. I felt um, in uh, somewhere like four ish, I believe, four or five. Um, but other than that, and that was because it. I just pushed on it and it, it gave a little bit. So, um, but I have no idea what else he's got in this nasty thing. 
Um, let's see here. Pins are up. All right. Well, it looks like it's a six pinner, so that's good. Um, all the key pins are in and working. And he's definitely got some nastiness going on in here for sure. Um, let's dump these out and see what we got. One is a very good looking serrated pin. Two is a very sharp serrated pin. Didn't even want to come out. Awesome. Very good looking pin there, man. That is a great looking pin. Uh, two is a serrated. Another good looking serrated. Three is another awesome looking serrated. Man, you did good on these pens. These are awesome looking pens. Um, and a double spool kind of pen in, in six. Um, all of the chambers are threaded. Um, nice sharp threading in there. Let's see if I can get that to show up. Hopefully that camera's picking some of that up. Nice sharp serrations on all of those. Really good looking. So great job. Um, let's see what the magic is upstairs. This is what I'm curious about because uh, two felt very, very weird. Um, let's see. In one, we had a kind of a barrel serrated, good looking pen, and a copper spring. And two, here it is. Let's see what we got there. Another barrel serrated pen. Very sharp one. Hanging up on that really good. Um, and a tight wound spring. So that was why it felt very sharp or very, uh, very bound. You know what? Oh, that's my shim. That would be why. Let's get my shim out there. Okay. <laughs> In uh, three. We had a double spool, it looks like. And it was like that. Uh, with a very... Oh, crap. Bounced off on me. Uh, it was a steel spring, and I know what it looked like. So if I need to... If I can't find it, I'll, I'll replace it. I've got one like it. Um, but it was a steel spring. Um, four is another uh, barrel-like spool. Double spool. Um, I went to move that spring and it popped on me. Uh, let's see, in five. Another one of those uh, barrel serrated or barrel double spools. And another copper spring. And, oh, that one popped out, but sure enough, it is another one of those serrated spools. Um, good looking pens there, man. And, let's see, had a, a double one, or a double spring there. Uh, in the Bible, it looks like one, two, three, four, and five. They're all threaded upstairs, too, so um, good looking uh, threading in the, in, the, uh, in the Bible as well. Hopefully I can get that to focus. Let's see here. Um, there you might be able to see four and five there. Um, this way you should be able to see it. Maybe if I turn it the right direction. Um, yeah, it was threaded in all chambers. Good looking threads. Um, awesome lock here, man. Thank you, Bronx Lock Picker 60 for this lock. Um, let's... Uh, Zoom in here for you on the uh, pins because these are amazing looking pins, man. Uh, very sharp serration on uh, key pin one with a acetite barrel serrated uh, and a copper spring. Uh, and two nice sharp serrations in the key pin. Uh, and another one of those barrel like spool, almost double spool. Um, and a copper spring. Um, in uh, three, I had a, uh, looks like a double serrated there in the key pin and a double spool up top. Very sharp serrations uh, on those sharp spools. Uh, same thing in three, another sharp serrated key pin and a double spool. Uh, another very sharp serrated uh, key pin in five with another sharp double spool. 
uh, and the same in uh, five, uh, and six. So awesome lock, man. Amazing. Uh, thank you for sending it to me, Bronx Lock Picker 60. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for your time, and don't break the law.